the second part of a two-part series on accessibility in G Suite for Education. In our last episode, we talked about making text more accessible. Today, we'll share how to make images and tables more accessible, plus offer some simple tips to help students with screen readers and, well, everyone, better navigate your docs. So let's start with images. Using high contrast images allows more people, especially those with visual impairments, to see the graphics in your docs and slides. High contrast images are those that stand out from their backgrounds. A classic example of this is black and white, but other colors can be high contrast too. Any dark color on a light background will do the trick. You can also help images pop by boosting the contrast of the Chromebook screen display. To switch to high contrast mode, just press Control Search H. When you add an image to a doc or presentation, it's important to add alt text, which is a written title and description of each image that a screen reader, often used by someone who is blind, can read out loud when it reaches the visual. Adding alt text is easy. Select an image, right click, and select alt text to enter a title and description. Then click OK to save. Another type of visual information is data, and tables are a great way to convert data into an easily digestible format. To increase your table's accessibility, add descriptive headers to the table's rows and columns instead of diving right into the numbers. This way, people using screen readers can have these headers read aloud to them as they make their way through the table. Now, let's switch gears and talk about formatting. Good formatting can help everyone better navigate a document. And for those with screen readers, formatting is especially helpful since they can just jump to different parts of the doc using keyboard shortcuts. One way to format a doc is by adding navigation landmarks, such as headers, footers, page numbers, and page counts. You can find and add these helpful navigation landmarks from the Google Docs insert menu. Heading styles like titles and subtitles are another way to make your docs more accessible and navigable. Headings help with general organization and they also help people with screen readers skip to different parts of the doc. To add heading styles, go to the format menu, then paragraph styles to choose one of the default heading options or create your own. You can also use the styles shortcut from your Google Docs toolbar. And if you're creating something from scratch, consider starting with a template from the Google Docs or Google Slides template galleries. Many of them have accessibility features baked right in, including large font sizes, high contrast text and images, alt text, and simple tables. You can browse and select various templates at docs.google.com or slides.google.com. And there you have it some quick tools and tips for making your images and tables more accessible, and few ways to format your docs for easier navigation. We're always looking for new ways to adapt to the needs of all teachers and students, so share your ideas for additional product features in the comments below. Be sure to check out other episodes of EDU and 90, including our previous episode on text accessibility. And remember to subscribe to the Google for Education channel We'll see you next time on EDU in 90. When docs and presentations are created with accessibility in mind, everyone benefits. Check out our last episode to find out ways to make your text more accessible.